Krishi, to you first. Uh, what do you make of the DGP's comments? Uh, many have seen them to be in very, very poor taste. The country still mourning the loss of 27 Jawans who died. But you think this is becoming increasingly politicized as if it wasn't already? Well, it is. I'm, I'm afraid it is. Uh, and I, I think uh, service people should stay away from the media. Uh, it takes a little bit of a different kind of acumen to handle media. Uh, you should not always in public life say what you feel and necessarily feel what you say. Uh, there are communication skills. There are skills that prevent more hurt and things getting worse. And I think it's important. Uh, there, are, um, there are opportunities for you to express uh, c in a candid manner uh, what you really feel. But to be saying it and wearing it on your sleeve all the time, I'm not quite sure that that's a very sensible thing to do. Uh, there is a clear indication of lack of sensitivity. Mr. Mitra, was he insensitive in, uh, in, in saying this at this time? Well, I think he said more than he should have said. But, you know, it is not the first time he's uh, said this. After the Chintalnar massacre too, um, there was a serious question as to do we have any kind of joint operations there? Uh, the CRPF, which doesn't know the terrain, naturally they have never been posted there. There, sh there should have been much greater coordination between the police and the CRPF. Somehow, I feel the problem, root of the problem starts from there. The CRPF, uh, I have, uh, that's uh, my reading of the situation, I'm sure Mr. Mishra will disagree. The CRPF uh, has a tendency to look down on the state police force. And they feel they are more experienced, they know uh, everything about uh, warfare much better than lati wielding state policemen. And I think a lot of the problem comes from... Clearly that's uh, not the case. Com ...comes from uh, there. And that's why I think Mr. Vishwaranjan has been trying to say that, you know, uh, there has to be greater coordination. The CRPF uh, goes without kind of uh, state police being, uh, uh, escorting them and so on. But I do agree that maybe this was, uh, I mean, a Not the very right time. angry reaction. Maybe he said a little more than he should have. M Mr. Mishra, my question to you is that what is it about the CRPF, you know, that, that the force keeps taking these hits one after another? Is it that the force is, you know, ill-equipped, ill-trained? Praveen's made the point that one day they're fighting in, uh, terrorists in JNK, the, another day they're fighting Maoists in Chhattisgarh. What is the main problem, according to you, sir? You see, CRPF is not ill-equipped. And... Uh, to my knowledge, it is uh, adequately trained also. But then, it seems, I have no first-hand knowledge, I have got, uh, I get my information from now newspapers only. Uh, my appreciation is that they have taken too big a responsibility upon themselves. They are trying to cover a very large area. Trying to cover a very large area tactically uh, especially an area which is not very familiar to them, is a very hazardous task. That means you have to go on long walks and you have to come back to your base now and then and so on. Uh, uh, you see, jungle operations, unlike operations in open plain areas, is a very difficult uh, uh, proposition. You, you, ha you advance uh, by meters, uh, not by kilometers. You have to uh, occupy the dominant positions. You have to uh, cover your flanks. And uh, especially in uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, Malkangiri area, you have to demine your area of advance. Moreover, whatever you have gained, you have to consolidate. You can't go on a long-range patrol and then come back by the same route. So, uh, because of uh, this problem, uh, they are facing this, uh, these reverses. But at the same time, I, I feel that there is no reason to be so jittery about initial reverses. There is no force in the world which hasn't had reverses in its initial campaign. And this campaign against Naxalites is going to last for years. It's not going to end in weeks, months, or, uh, uh, or a year or I, so. I'm, I'm really glad Mr. Vishwaranjan said what he did. Tuba.com.